Hello, I'm Arnold Roos from Marksware. A couple of weeks ago, I had the privilege to salvage an uh, InDesign file that was corrupted and would crash InDesign right at the moment you opened up the file. I was able to repair the document using Quark Express. Um, and additional to that, two great conversion tools from Marksware, the ID2Q uh, InDesign to Quark conversion tool and the Q2ID Quark to InDesign conversion tool. I picked up the file and using the ID2Q extension for Quark, I was able to open the file in InDesign, saved it as a Quark file, and then uh, opened it back into Quark Express with the Q2ID conversion tool from Marksware. Uh, that way I was able to salvage the whole document. Uh, it looked great and I made a small movie about that and placed that on the internet. Then on reaction on, uh, on that movie, there were some people asking me if it was just a one-time thing I could do or that it would actually work on more files. So um, in response to that, we placed uh, a questionnaire on the, um, on the internet asking for corrupt InDesign files or flaky files. And uh, we got a lot of reactions on that and a lot of files. So here I am today trying to have just another file uh, that is corrupt, uh, another InDesign file that is corrupt, and trying to open it again uh, in InDesign via Quark. So let's see how that works. So let's dive into the file. Here is the InDesign document that is corrupt. Let's open it from InDesign, locate the file, and open it like you would normally do. Open, and you will see it doesn't attempt to open it, but it crashes right away. So this file cannot be opened by InDesign, that's for sure. Now, what we figured out is that if we go to Quark Express and we go to the utility Convert InDesign Document, which is the ID2Q conversion tool from Marksware, we can now select that same InDesign file the ID2Q conversion tool will convert it straight into a Quark document. Well, there it is. We were able to open it from Quark Express. And now we can just save it, save the file as a Quark Express document. So you can see there's the QXP behind it. We save it in the same folder. And we can close that file. Now we're going to switch back to InDesign. We got the two files here, one InDesign file, one Express file. Now we can go back to InDesign, which crashed, so we have to start that one up again. There's InDesign. Now we can just open the file with the normal open a file that you have from the file open menu. And using the Q2ID conversion tool from Marksware, we can now convert the Quark Express document straight into an InDesign document again. So here you have the document fully recovered in InDesign with the text and everything available for you to edit. Well, there you have it. We once again salvaged a corrupt InDesign document using Quark and Marksware's conversion technology. Um, at Marksware, we're always working on R&D and we hope that you will send us your corrupt InDesign files so we can always try and see what we can come up uh, with in the future. Um, you can send your files to david at marksware.com and we will then look into the files and see what we can do. Thank you again for watching and maybe we catch up another time.